So this question says, for a certain rectangular region, the ratio of its length to its width is 35 to 10. So I'm going to just draw a rectangle. Um, I'm going to write for the length, I'm going to put 35x. And for the width, I'm going to put 10x. Anytime I see the word ratio per, followed by some actual values, I always put an x involved. I always include an x because having a ratio of 35 to 10 doesn't mean that the values of the length and width are actually 35 and 10. It just means that once you reduce it, it becomes 35 to 10, which also kind of doesn't make sense because you can reduce even further to like 7 to 2 would be the exact same ratio. But that's neither here nor there. Um, let's start off with just 35x and 10x. If the width of the rectangular region increases by 7 units, Okay, how must the length change to maintain this ratio? All right, so then my ratio, so I'm going to use ratio as a fraction then. And I'm going to say I need to maintain this 35 to 10 ratio. I know that the, um, what happened? The width increased by 7. So I know that my 10x here has increased by seven. So my 35x has to increase by, I don't know, I'm gonna call that y. So in order to solve this, I need to cross multiply here. So I'd have 35 times 10x plus seven, and then cross multiply there is equal to 10 times 35x plus y. And I'm left with 350x plus 30 times 7 is 210, 5 times 7 is 35, so plus 245 equals 350x plus 10y. So both sides of this equation have 350x, so they are going to cancel out. I'm left with 245 is equal to 10y, which of course if I divide both sides by 10, I'm left with y is equal to 24.5. So that's how much the length needs to increase by. So the answer choice A says it decreases by 24.5. Not true. Choice B says it increases by 24.5. Yes, that is our correct answer. And then C and D both use seven units as the increase. And that's absolutely not true. So the key to this answer was realizing that this ratio, 35 to 10, has to be maintained, which means I can use equal signs here and turn this into a proportion. And I'm still representing the increase, right? So my 10x, just saying that I don't know what the actual length is, or I'm sorry, the, the actual width is, so I'm gonna call it 10x, but I know that I'm adding seven to that width. And the same with the length. I don't know what the actual length is, but I do know that it's 35 times x, and I'm adding some unknown value, which I can call Y, or you could have called A, B, whatever letter you chose.